Vehely or others tell you to put yourself out there. If you are an ISDP, then this is probably one of the sentences you dread the most. Too many people. It is understandable that as an introvert, you love your solitude nonetheless. If you are unsure of how to sustain a relationship, whether at work or as a parent, then this video is for you. So, stick around as we cover how successful ISTPs manage human relationships without burning out. Let's begin. Romantic Relationships Relationships with ISTPs cannot be pushed, but as long as they are allowed the freedom to be who they are, they will happily take pleasure in the security of a stable companion for the rest of their lives. Since they constantly seek out new experiences and activities, persons with the ISTP personality type might be particularly flighty when they are first starting to date. I see. ISTPs don't really have an issue leaving a possible partner if they aren't a good fit. They behave similarly with friends as well, but we'll get to that later. So remain in your seat. When it comes to dating, ISTP personalities are scarcely rigid or conventional and often strive to include sex into their activities at an early stage. ISTPs do have emotions. In fact, they are rather powerful and deep. However, they tend to keep them hidden and under wraps since they aren't sure how to handle and express them. Even when they like you, they'll keep their feelings for you under wraps. Case in point, they act inconspicuously like a cat. If an ISTP likes you, you'll get the impression that they'll tolerate your presence and maybe even appear to like it, similar to how a cat would. Well, you know what they say, a cat's love language is blinking, so if you have a crush on an ISTP, why not blink at them when you see them? They might walk away, but it's worth the shot. I know this may have been too much for a personality, but it is not. This video will not explain why, but our upcoming videos will so subscribe with notifications to be alerted when we release them. ISTPs as parents ISTPs are adaptable, carefree, uncontrollable parents who want to accept each situation as the rises. Perhaps you were taught differently and believe that being a careless and unrestrained parent would lead to the child's destruction. Nevertheless, this is not always the case. Sharon Frederick, a psychotherapist at Clarity Health Solutions, told Healthline that parents who practice strict or rigid discipline do not allow their child to explore their world, which often leads to a child who becomes fearful and anxious or rebellious. However, the ISDP will be able to enforce discipline as necessary without any trouble. The motivation to discipline their children may be tough for them to gather, but once they start rolling, they'll be successful. Outdoorsy activities like fishing, boating, and hunting are great for ISDPs to do alone with their kids. The ISDP will use these quiet times as a chance to learn about their children's viewpoints and to impart their own interests and viewpoints. Interesting. ISDPs as friends. Others find ISDPs passionate, innocent outlook on life appealing. They are not completely frivolous and pleasure-seeking in their activities since they are introverted thinkers because they also possess some actual content. They often tolerate a broad spectrum of conduct since they are flexible and laid back. These qualities make them cherished confidantes and pals. People with the ISDP personality type have no problem at all forming relationships with others to engage in their hobbies since they have such a diverse and engaging range of interests. ISDPs often have a diverse group of pals that enjoy the same interests as them. For instance, you could have friends with whom you can go skiing or swimming, and you could also have pals with whom you can study or participate in some other activity. ISDPs general dislike of being tied down to one person or activity is the root of most of this, but having multiple besties doesn't hurt, right? Speaking to an American multinational feminist, digital media called Refinery29, Dr. Andrea Bonia says if you have multiple best friends, it can actually be more fulfilling because it ensures that you have your emotional needs met on different levels. If that's the case, which of the 16 personality types described by the MBTI is most suited to have close relationships with ISDPs? In a short while, we will communicate this information to you so please keep a lookout. Relationships with workmates. 
ISTPs are more likely to succeed at work when their colleagues are able to respect their personal space, speak up when they have something to say, and embrace constructive criticism. In contrast to working in groups, they are better equipped to think and operate alone. Working alone is actually beneficial. For Forbes, embracing alone time can be very good for mental well-being and performance, according to a study in the Journal of Motivation and Emotion. ISDPs often struggle to read between the lines. Therefore, they prefer to put their faith in others around them to be forthright and unambiguous. It's crucial that their colleagues aren't easily offended by constructive criticism, since they're likely to provide others with frequent input. So to manage relationships at the workplace without burning out, they require space. So if you have ISTP at your work, be mindful of this. Noted. ISTP compatibility. You know when people say, nobody understands teenagers more than teenagers. The same applies here. We should acknowledge the possibility that interactions between two ISDPs can be exciting. I'm aware that you may be expecting me to say that an ISDP would get along well with someone from a different MBTI. Exactly. However, finding someone you click with right away and who believes the same things as you is comforting. Consider the friendship between ISDPs Hawkeye and Black Widow. They became close as a result of their connection, which helped them forge one of Marvel's most enduring friendships. In any case, the ESDJ and ENTJ are good partners for the ISTP because they may counterbalance its introversion and complement its logical outlook. All things considered, we simply want to emphasize that it's okay to become friends with someone you like. Just be careful to recognize their MBTI because, let's face it, you have your own personality, which some people will have to accommodate your personality. Now that you know how successful ISDPs handle relationships, why not learn about how they solve problems? It will help you in the long run as an ISDP. So check out our video on why successful ISDPs are good at solving problems.